Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Where were you this weekend? I went to bed not long after 9 p.m. Slept like a rock. Ooh. Ten hours? Really? No. Yeah. My voice is already shot, and I have to save as much of it as I can for the pending trip to the UK because there's going to be a lot of talking on board. On board the plane, that is, the transatlantic flight with a hundred other people. It's going to be a different kind of flight. My bear, my bears, my eyes are barely open, not my bears are eyely open. Oh, okay, my mouth is very, oh, very open. Dang, okay, I'm just gonna shut up now. I don't know what y'all do in London. Wicket's mad because I told him he can't watch the WWDC live stream announcements with me. Well, he was going to complain even if he did watch the announcements with me. That dog complains about everything. Fine, I'll explain it to everybody else. It's basically a series of announcements from Apple talking about new stuff that's coming down the pike. He had to remind me that it's down the pike, not necessarily down the pipe, which some people say. It's kind of a big day for some of us tech geeks. Unfortunately, I haven't finished editing the vlog that has to be uploaded today, so I will be getting right on that, possibly at the same time that Apple's doing announcements. My office is going to have to be a mess until I get back from the UK because I don't know if I'm going to have a lot of time to straighten up. <coughs> but I'm taking a break, sipping some raw. It's who was at Vlogger Fair this weekend, trying carrot lemonade. Not being a fan of carrot juice, but I like lemonade, and this is a good combo. I'm drinking carrot juice. Are you looking for more dropped seaweed? Think you got it all already. Do you see the dream catcher that Aunt Grace gave me? It even has my name on a feather. Not a real feather though, that's like a piece of plastic. But now, I can catch my dreams. And hopefully all the nightmares slip through. Did you figure out the garage door? No. Oh. I couldn't find the, the opener. Where's the opener? It's in the rear view mirror. The button that's furthest oh. to the well, driver's side. Well, that's fine too. She went shopping and picked up mail. John Wolfman Perry sent me a very extra large game of clones t-shirt. And the official size is, yes, XL, which I might swim in. Thank you, it was a very friendly gesture. <laughs> well, all our guests will enjoy coming into our house. Bacon doormat. Step on cake. Mm. Jackie Tran asks, What's that? Akil says he would love to watch more vlogs, but his monitor screen cracked. Mm. Oh, he's getting it fixed though. No worries. And Desaf asked Defas said that he spotted a wild crisp perillo. It's pastrami from mom. She's beeping right now. It was actually the microwave. What? Your mom doesn't carry pastrami around with her? So what diet are you on? It's called the fast metabolism diet. It, it teaches your metabolism to be, to, it resets it. And it's, it's very strict. You know, like certain days you eat fruit, certain days you eat protein. Yeah, but you said you just lost 16 pounds on it. I did. It took me about five or six weeks to lose it. You should really eat organic, but I can't afford that. So, I just eat as well as I can. Does this diet involve eating pastrami? I suppose you could. Mom dropped a celery stick and Wicket won't eat it. He'll eat his own poop but he won't eat celery. What does that tell you? 
No. Wicket has taste. It's that celery was probably never designed to be eaten. But it is nature's dental floss. I've been trapped in my home office trying to get my inbox down to a more manageable size. I'm at 51. They're all red, just not all responded to. I thought I would take advantage of my mom. I'm, well, not, I, her time, she, she's here visiting right now. Uh, the rest of my family has left, so I thought I would ask her some questions that only my mom could answer. Do you want to answer some questions? You got one hell of a setup there. I do. Why do you like living in Iowa? And I'm not talking to the person watching unless they are living in Iowa, in which case I can ask. Why do you like living where you live? You. I was asking my mom who's behind the camera. I like living in Iowa because I like the seasons. I'm more of a cold weather person. I'm, I don't do well in hot uh, weather in humid weather. Ah, Iowa. that's where I get it from. It's it's hot in Iowa and it's very yeah. humid. Well, but generally, generally it will have two or three really hot weeks. It's not hot like Texas, um, but I just I like the uh, the seasons. We and, have seasons. Yeah, I know, but we also have sunshine. We have sunshine. We have two wow. seasons, rainy and not rainy. That's yeah. Those are our seasons in Seattle. Yeah, you have. And two days of sunshine. <laughs> we had three last year. And um, I don't think people who have nice weather all the time can really truly appreciate what it's when spring comes. Because, you know, you've been in kind of... Not in the house because I get out and walk or I snowshoe or do other things during the winter time when I can. And I am, I enjoy shoveling snow. You know, I think it's good exercise. But um, so when I come out after winter and I see my first robin or I hear the birds starting to sing in the morning um, because, you know, they're pretty quiet during the winter, but then you've got your windows open as it gets to be spring and you really appreciate the fact, oh, spring's coming and it feels so good out here now. And people that have nice weather all the time, I don't see how they can appreciate it. But we have birds out here. No, but I mean, a lot, the birds will start singing as, as the nice weather starts coming, like at dawn. Yeah, but our here. birds, they, no, our birds sing show tunes. Oh, okay. Like, Bye Bye Birdie. <laughs> Sweeney Todd. So, and I also think, you know, hey, how can anyone really, really appreciate a cup of hot chocolate? Unless they've been out shoveling snow or building a snowman or sledding and they're all cold and they come in and you have a good hot cup of hot chocolate to warm you up. Yeah, but that's not fair because you know what we build out here? Rain men. Rain men? That's right. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely build rain men. Definitely. Definitely. Honestly, that's one of those movies that if it's on, like, I'll watch it. Like, I'll be in the middle of yeah. something and I would watch it. It's just, yeah, it was it's an awesome so well done. Movie. Very good movie. So, that's why I like living. I like the seasons. I like the people. I like the fact that we have urban area, but yet not all the traffic of, of Seattle. Yeah. And Seattle have... doesn't even have, like, I mean, it's got heavy traffic, but it's not, like, heavy, heavy, yeah. heavy. It is to me. Oh well, yeah, because we have more than four cars in the city. That's right. Heck, if it takes us a half hour to get across town, we throw a fit because the traffic is heavy. Uh, I gotta get to bed again. I didn't even get a chance to edit. Oh, this has been a busy week. I'm gonna have to set my alarm for 6 a.m. Uh, uh, Am I dreaming, 
or did I not remember to say thank you for liking, commenting, and sharing our videos?